What is up, y'all? It's your boy, the Renegade Enigma, doing another video, and in this video, I'm here to give you my predictions for WWE's greatest Royal Rumble event and whatnot, right? And they're basically marketing this like it's a WrestleMania-type event and whatever, you know, the big four and whatever. WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, that type of thing. This event is going to be at least maybe five hours long and whatnot. It has... As of right now, 10 matches and whatever, you know, until they put something on the pre-show or whatever, which they will have. And if you've seen the leaks online or whatever of the stage, that thing is huge and whatever. If you don't know, this event is going to be in Saudi Arabia and whatever. The starting time to this event, I believe it is 12 o'clock Eastern or whatever. Don't quote me on this. Look it up online and whatnot. But yeah, this thing is going to be long. It's going to feel like a WrestleMania. With that said, let's get into the matches. First things first, we're going to start off with a match that's kind of riddled in controversy and whatnot, right? It's a casket match with The Undertaker is going to go against, one minute it's Rusev, the next minute is Chris Jericho, but now it's back to Rusev again. So in the casket match, it's going to be Undertaker versus Rusev. Obviously, this is Undertaker's match. So, you know, long story short, you know... No doubt about it, gonna go with The Undertaker, you know. Not even a second thought about that. Next, we have a match between John Cena and Triple H, where they're like hyping it up real like big and whatever. Really no reason for this match. It's pretty much like a house show type of match and whatever, you know what I mean? Which basically that's what this is, but they're making that like a pay per view. Anyhow, right? I believe that since John Cena lost so quick to The Undertaker at WrestleMania, they're gonna give John Cena this match. And it might be a pretty good match, so yeah, look for John Cena to win this match. Next for the WWE Cruiserweight title, uh, we had the champion, uh, Cedric Alexander, putting his title on the line uh, against the winner of the Cruiserweight um, Gauntlet match that was presented yesterday as of me recording this. And that winner was Kalisto. You ask me that, like, Gauntlet tournament, whatever you want to call it, was kind of anticlimactic and whatever, like, really... Nothing special about it, but yeah, Kalisto won or whatever. Someone, like, should have came in at the end, attacked Kalisto, and, like, should have been the last person, but whatever, right? As for my predictions in this match, Cedric Alexander just won the title, so I don't see him losing it so quick. So, yeah, Cedric Alexander is going to be, and still, your crew champion, Cedric Alexander. So, that's the thing. Next, we have, for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship, we have the Bludgeon Brothers, Harper and Rowan. Go against the former champions, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. And in this match here, I'm going to have to go with the Bludgeon Brothers. Because, you know, Jimmy just won a match against Rowan um, this past SmackDown Live and whatever. But it was only because of the interference of Naomi. Now, if you don't know, uh, they're in going to be in Saudi Arabia and whatever. And they're not allowing the women to wrestle there. So, Naomi's not going to be able to interfere in this match. So... They're not going to have the advantage, so yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers are definitely winning this match in my opinion. So that's the thing, you're winning here and still champions, the Bludgeon Brothers. Next we have the finals for the vacant Raw Tag Team titles. We have, I guess they're called the Deleter of Worlds, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy going against The Bar, which are on SmackDown by the way, Cesaro and Sheamus. Now because of The Bar being on SmackDown Live and whatnot, I do not see them winning this match, so yeah, look for Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, the Deleter of Worlds, to be the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Next, we have a match for the United States title. We have the newly crowned champion on SmackDown Live, Jeff Hardy, um, putting his title on the line against the former champion over on Monday Night Raw, Jinder Mahal, and he's going to have one of the same brothers with him. Maybe both by this time and whatever, but yeah, he's going to have at least one of the same brothers with him. Anyhow, like I said, Jinder Mahal is part of Monday Night Raw, so I don't see him winning back the title and whatever. So look for Jeff Hardy to be the champ still the champion here. So you're winning here and still champion, United States champion, Jeff Hardy. Next, we have a match for the WWE Championship. We have the champion, AJ Styles, going against the newly healed Shinsuke Nakamura. Like, I love his new theme. If you all haven't heard it, look for it online or whatever. It's probably on WWE's YouTube channel and whatnot. But look for that and whatever. But because of that, you know what I mean? Like, Shinsuke Nakamura is a heel and whatnot. And they're trying to make this event so big and whatever. Look for Shinsuke to win the title here. So, yeah, that's the thing. You're winning here 
and new WWE Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Next, we have a Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match for the Intercontinental Championship. We have uh, Raw's uh, Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins, going against Finn Balor, which is also on Raw. Going against SmackDown Live, Samoa Joe. Also from SmackDown Live in this match is the former champion, The Miz. Again, since Samoa Joe and The Miz are on SmackDown, neither one of them are going to win this match, so... I think I'm going to have to give this to the current champion, Seth Rollins. He's going to burn the house down, as a word, pardon the pun. And, you know, he's going to retain the championship, so you're winning here. And still, Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Next, we have a match for the WWE Universal title. We have the champion, Brock Lesnar, putting his title on the line against Roman Reigns. By the way, this is a steel cage match. This one, just like WrestleMania, is going to surprise people and whatnot, right? Everybody thought that Roman Reigns was going to win at WrestleMania. Same thing here. I think everybody didn't think that Roman Reigns was going to win, but they're going to like um, swerve us, you know, twist it on us, and Brock Lesnar is going to win this too. So you're winning here and still Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. And finally, we have the main event of the evening. You know what I mean? It's the namesake of this, I guess, live event, you could call it, because it's not a pay per view. Uh, we have the greatest Royal Rumble match. Which is basically just like the regular Royal Rumble match, but you don't win a title match. You win actually a trophy, which is way better than women's um, WrestleMania trophy, by the way. And instead of 30 people in it, it's 50 people in it. You know, along with like returning stars like Chris Jericho, uh, Rey Mysterio, Great Khali, people like that. You know what I mean? You have people from Raw, SmackDown. I also believe you have people from NXT. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's a thing too. Anyhow, you know what I mean? Like, I really haven't put any thought to this, so if you have to like put a gun to my head, I would think the winner would be probably Daniel Bryan since Daniel Bryan is in it and whatever. So he, ha he has to have a big win. So, you know, he's gonna win the trophy and boom. Your winner of the greatest uh, Royal Rumble it's going to be Daniel Bryan. But yeah, y'all, th those are my predictions or whatnot. You know what I mean? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Comment down below and tell me your predictions or whatnot. And yeah, y'all, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, y'all, peace.